Uh, good morning, guys! Um, it is September 17th. It's probably like 7.05 in the morning. Um, but today is the day that I get my wisdom teeth removed. Um, and to say I'm freaking out is an understatement. Um, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys know that in my 50 random facts about me tag, I um, said that I have a fear of anesthesia. <laughs> and um, I am absolutely terrified. Um, I don't know if this is what having anxiety is like, but I kind of just want to cry about it. <laughs> but yeah, everybody that I've, that I've talked to has said that it's not that bad. Um, but I am kind of freaking out. <laughs> and I... I... Um, yeah, not doing well inside. I was told uh, no colored nail polish because if you pass out, they won't, like, you can tell with your nails. Um, no jewelry. I most likely have to take my nose ring out, um, depending on what the surgeon says. So that should be fun. My appointment's at 8, but I have the consultation first. So I will most likely be getting them out around 9 ish, 8.30, 9 o'clock. Oh my god. Why is this happening? I, nope. Thank you. These are my teeths. And then those are the ones that they're taking out. And then that's where my braces bar is. Mm. Yep. So I had like a mini breakdown yeah, in the car when my sister called me. We're just waiting. And I'm hopefully mom, you're gonna you're gonna have to film for me, okay? When I'm out. Like when they if you're here when they put the gas on me, you have to film it. No, they're gonna take you and they're gonna Dang it. No, I'm gonna just wait. It's a really big office also doing the consultation. And it's really cold outside, so you know. Ain't killing it today. Oh my goodness, you got like a lot of texts. <laughs> Then when this person that was here left, I changed spot. And I was hoping they would call soon. Before the guy comes back. So that was not so bad. I feel great. I got kind of terrible. We put heat 
to get the circulation going. Right. So, um, it is 1.18, uh, it's been about how many hours, four or five hours since the surgery, and I'm feeling okay, my lip is like half numb, half not, it's like all tingly and really cold, um, I don't really have any pain, I did take some ibuprofen, um, I can feel them a little bit, not very much though. I look disgusting. I'm totally over this whole surgery thing. Like I just want to be able to eat normal food. I'm so hungry. Um, but today I can only stick to liquids because I can't rinse my mouth yet. Like I'm supposed to rinse after I eat every time. So hopefully tomorrow I can eat some applesauce. So. Um, what else? Um, I was going to say something. Totally forget. So far, that's, that's where I'm at. I made myself a comfy spot in a living room. In a recliner. In a lazy boy. And I've just been chilling. Slept, I think. I think I fell asleep. I don't really remember. The anesthesia process went super smoothly. Um, as you guys know, from the beginning of the clip. I was very nervous about that because I had never gotten surgery before so it was my first time with anesthesia and it was so funny so I was in the car and I was listening to music I remember I was listening to Fly Away by Five Sauce and then um, my sister called and like, I was trying to keep all my emotions inside I was like okay don't cry about it it'll be okay hey baby and then my sister called me and she's like, hey, how are you? And it just like broke down. And I was like, I'm terrified. And it was like super sad for me. <laughs> uh, the doctor was really nice. It's pretty cool. Um, and then we did like the consultation after that little clip that you guys saw with my teeth. And then I sat in the waiting room for a little bit. I started listening to Money, uh, the new Five Sauce song that came out. It got leaked and my friend sent it to me to make me feel better. And the, I listened to like 12 seconds of it and then they called me in and I was like, oh my god. So then I went in and I had to take my sweater off, my cardigan, and then um, I had to take my shoes off, my nose ring out, thankfully I was able to put it back in. Um, and then I sat down, the dude gave me the IV, the anesthesiologist was super nice, we talked about One Direction and how... Um, we're listening to a Hamilton radio station, to Hamilton BC, I'm pretty sure, so like a far away radio station, because they play better music, and they were playing Brave by Sarah Bareilles, and then I, he said it was one of the greatest radio stations ever, and I was like, did you play One Direction yet? He was like, no, they probably will, and then we just talked about them for a little bit, and then they put something in my IV, and he was like, this will just make you a little dizzy, I got some oxygen. And they were like, are you feeling dizzy yet? And at this point, I was like, oh, uh, yeah, I like, had no idea what was going on. And then he's like, okay, time to go to sleep. And that's all I remember. And I just remember laughing to myself because I had been so worried. And then when I woke up in the waiting room, I had totally forgotten that I had just gotten surgery done. And my nose was really, really cold. I remember that. It was, I was so uncomfortable. Um... <laughs> and I had no idea what was happening and the lady was like, hey Erica, like everything is done and you're all good and I was like, whoa, really? I was flabbergasted. I'm pretty sure my mouth is bleeding everywhere, but I just don't know about it. So yeah, that's where I'm going to end today. Um, I will update you guys tomorrow when I either wake up. I'm so excited to go to sleep, like actually go to sleep because I'm so tired. <laughs> so yes, I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Okay, so it is 9.50 day two in, uh, at night, and um, I didn't know where my camera was all day because I haven't really left my room and it was in the living room, um, so I didn't really update today. Um, I slept for most of the day, honestly, that's really all I did. Um, 
I was awake for maybe like a collective amount of like five hours today and my face is really swollen actually. Um, I don't know if it's really really visible um, but yes I'm extremely swollen. <laughs> I'm just like looking at myself in my mirror and like there was tape on my face where they like taped the oxygen mask and I can't get the sticky stuff off of my face and it's really really annoying. Um, as for bruising goes, um, I don't necessarily have any bruising, um, that's noticeable, except for maybe right here. That little patch right there is a little bruisy. Um, my right side hurts, that's the right, yeah, that's the right. Um, my right side hurts more than my left, um, and it was my right side that hurt, when I hadn't like before I'd gotten them taken out too and I've got like kind of a little lisp um down here right by my lips is also really swollen because I have this like really deep crease now from my chin to my lip I got lip injections but it's just because I got really swollen <laughs> but yes so I'll talk to you guys in the morning okay so today is day four um, and I didn't, I don't think I made any clips yesterday anyway, um, because mostly all I did yesterday was sleep anyway. Um, I have been sleeping so much. I sleep at least 12 hours a day, plus, like, at night. So, it's kind of ridiculous. So, today is day four, and so far I've had applesauce, eggs, mashed potatoes, ice cream, mac and cheese and juice I think so far that's been my my, my diet so far um, I have to start hot compress now on my cheeks to kind of get the blood flowing um, my stitches should dissolve within the next couple within the next like five days um, all-time low is on Thursday which I'm really excited for, but also really nervous for. <laughs> um, nervous because I hope I'm going to be better. Swelling has gone down. Um, I'm not that swollen anymore. Um, I still feel really swollen here. Um, like I said a couple days ago. Um, honestly, pain isn't too bad. Um, I can see the stitches on the inside and it's kind of cool, kind of weird. Um, my right side still hurts a little bit, and I was going to update you guys on something else, and I don't even remember. So that's, that's about it for day four. Um, I will update you guys tomorrow. Bye! Hi guys, so today is Monday, um, and I just wanted to kind of quickly update you guys, and I wanted to show you guys what I have been eating. Um, because literally these things have saved me. They're so delicious. Um... It's the mango fruit, what does that say? Fruitaire, sure. Um, but these things taste like real mango, okay? It's like you're eating a like a real mango. And there's six of them and they're, they're just delicious. I Really, the only side is my right side that's bothering me. I don't have any bruising, um, which I'm very, very thankful for. Um, and I've started to slowly eat um, I've had watermelon, and I've just kind of been chewing on it. Um, I'm craving Burger King chicken nuggets, and I've never had Burger King ever in my entire life. I don't even know where the nearest Burger King is, but I just, like, I want them so bad. Um, but yes. Um, also something that I'm most likely going to make a separate video about because, um, like, I just, I feel like it's one of those rambly videos that I would end up making anyway. Um, but talking about exes and relationships and dating and all of that good stuff because although I've only dated one boy in my life, eh, ask my friends and I might have some boy advice for everybody. That are very useful tips. <laughs> so yes, I will update you guys later on. Who knows if I go parking or not. Okay, so I don't know why, but I'm this type of person who, like, won't be doing anything and will think, oh, hey, let's do something that has nothing to do with what we should be doing right now and go do that instead. 
So instead of cleaning my room and putting my clothes away, um, I am currently going to buy cotton balls and some of my Halloween necessities to sort of try and fix and try, well, test out my Halloween thing, what I want to do for Halloween. Um, so I'm on my way to Rex Rog right now to go buy some goodies. Are you on the, no, okay, you're on the outside. Uh, so yes, that's what we're gonna do. It's my first actual adventure outside of my house in like five days. So I'm actually a disaster that is what it's come to oh, and there's a lady that just parked there. Okay, but so I have troubles finding everything in stores. Like I don't know what it is, but I can just never find things. Um, and I always end up asking the ladies who work there and then they always tell me and it's always in the most obvious spot possible. But I'm going to haul what I bought because YOLO. Yay, Maxwell! Okay, so I primarily went there for cotton balls. So I got two bags of cotton balls because you never know what you're going to need and I didn't look for liquid latex. Damn it! Oh well. I got some at home. Um, and then I also bought this woo, uh, new brush set. They're dual-ended and they're super fun. Yep. I don't, you guys probably can't see that. Uh, I also got a new pair of tweezers because I ain't got no more tweezers. Uh, I also got some new sponges. And then I got this cool uh, kit that was like a dollar. So I was like, duh. Um, it's a zombie kit. And there you go. It looks great. It was, yeah, it was literally a dollar. And then I got two Reese's Pieces packs because... I love Reese's Pieces, and it's a soft chocolate, so I'm hoping I can eat one tonight. Not even like a whole packet, but just like one individual Reese's Pieces, and I'll be extremely happy. So yes, those are my purchases, and now let's go home and... What day is it today? Le Ugh, it's really bright. I haven't really looked outside at all today. And it's like 5.30 at night. It's not nighttime. It's still bright outside. Can y'all tell how my brain is working right now? Um, okay, first of all, it's the same shirt as yesterday and the day before. Um, I don't leave my house. I haven't left my house. I left my house yesterday. It's the first day I left my house. And I don't wear it to sleep. I just wear it around my house because it's really comfy. It's from Baths in England and it's very comfy. Don't judge me. Second of all, um, I woke up this morning and I forgot that I had gotten my wisdom teeth removed. I was like, wait. Why does my mouth feel all weird? Because my mouth, like, I feel fine. I think my finger was in front of the lens. Oh wait, that's not even, that's not even the lens. Oh my God, what the hell is wrong with me? Oh God. Um, I can chomp, well, I mean, as well as somebody can chomp who's had their wisdom teeth removed six days ago. Um, but it doesn't, it's not really painful. It doesn't really hurt anymore. Um, I had chicken fingers today to carb my chicken craving. I went to IGA and I bought some and I put them in the oven and I made them and it was delicious. It was perfect. Um, but yes, this is where I'm ending it because nothing really eventful is going to happen. This is about it for me. Um, thank you for coming along the journey with me. I'm sorry it wasn't as exciting as everybody else who gets their wisdom teeth removed. Um, but there were some funny moments, I do believe, maybe. Like usual, I will have all my links in the down bar below, as well as pre-order the new One Direction album that came out, the pre-order came out today, um, and pre-ordered the Five Sauce album. My links are down there as well. And without further ado, I will let you guys go. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Now, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.